Hello everybody and welcome to 3D HP. My name is Jerry and today I have in this a smoke purifier from Comgro. They sent it out to me to test and review. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. And inside the pack, let's see what we got. Okay, we have an adapter ring there if you're going from 3 to 4 inch on your pipes. Nice plastic flex hose. It's very stiff and bendable. So you can get down to where you happen to be doing your work. Whether it's for your laser, your soldering iron, or whichever. And uh, the air volume on this is 50 CFM. Band speed is 7,000 RPM. And a noise decibel is 75 decibels. And in here, what do we have? If I can get it out of the pack here, we've got a little black adapter. Now this will be the, if I can get it out of the pack, this will be the adapter that I put on the air purifier when I go to my enclosure. And paperwork. Talks all about the air purifier. Caution, parameters, talks, all the name of the accessories, um, the assembly steps there on the right side, more assembly steps, talks about hooking up the flexible wire, uh, dryer vents. We'll be doing that later, hooking it up to my enclosure. Talks about maintenance of the machine and the cartridge replacement. <coughs> Lots of foam here so nothing gets banged around or damaged. Okay, there we got the machine and some more accessories. Let's see if I can get that pulled out of there. It's kind of stuck in the foam. Wiggle, wiggle, I'll get it here in a minute. It's got a little weight to it. It's all metal. Plastic adapter on the top, power switch. Two latches on each side, filters right underneath it. So I'll show you here in a minute. And then some hose clamps for clamping down the dryer uh, dunks, screwdriver. And what do we got here? Okay, power brick. It's got a light on it so you know when it's turned on, when it's working. Then the 110 cord goes from the wall to the power brick. Okay, here's some uh, aluminum duct. We've got, I believe, 3 inch and 4 inch. There's an adapter to go from one size to another, depending on what your enclosure might have on it. They give you a few options. And there's a larger one, which has clear plexi, uh, clear plastic on it. And taking off the lid here, let's see what we got here. Looks like the yeah, carbon filter on the bottom. A pre-filter on top, then a HEPA filter underneath, and then a carbon filter. And uh, they do sell replacements on their website, or they will be, but I'm not sure when. But they are, they are listed out of stock, but at some point they will. And then I'm sure at some point we'll have them on Amazon when you want to get replacements. Whether it be from Conger or another company, I'm sure they're out there. Let's go ahead and uh, get this hooked up and we'll do a test with a little bit of solder and some fumes here.
Okay, here's one way you can use a smoke purifier. You can have it near your work and hope that it grabs the fumes, but they're going to go all over the place. Your laser head is going to be moving around, so it's not practical really to use it this way. You know, like I say, it's better for soldering where you can get close to your work. Now, this came off my shop vac. If you 3D printed something like this and put it on the end, it might help to draw air in a larger area. But like I say, you have to leave room for that head to move around for whatever you're doing. And if you have the smoke purifier down really close to your work, the head might hit it. So unless you're doing something really tiny and you know exactly where it's going to be traveling, you always can't put this box, you can't put the flexible hose in the way to suck up the purification, all the smoke. And here's what it sounds like at 100%. And I'm going to turn on my air pump here. Here's what this sounds like at 100%. So that's both of them going full blast. So we're going to move on. And as you can see, this is flexible. You can bend it all over the place. If I had more room on the table, maybe I could have it, the hose coming in down from the front where it'd be getting closer to the work to help suck it up. It has a decent little suction to it you have it closer to your work, so that's well and good, that would be perfectly fine. But in an ideal circumstance, you'd want to have an enclosure put around it. Isn't that amazing? Power 100%, speed 2500. And this is on a Dollar Tree cutting board. Picture of an Indian girl. Came out very nice. Did it catch 100% of the smoke coming off that? No, it did not. Did it catch a lot of it? Yes, it did. Um, if you get it close enough, to where it's cutting, uh, engraving, it got most of the smoke, it didn't get all of it 100%. Ideally, it worked best in an enclosure, but let's, uh, let's move on to the enclosure now. Anyway, I took their other fitting they supplied the black piece. It's straight on one side. It's kind of rounded on the other. Clamped it down fairly tight. It pressed in. There was no, I have the original enclosure they came out with, which has a smaller diameter hole coming out of it. And it simply fed on loose fit. It holds it fine. I didn't need to clamp it. And they do have an adapter that you can put together with one or two pipes if you have the four-inch hole and the larger one. But it seemed to work pretty good. Um, of course, whenever you're working with any kind of toxic materials, that are extremely dangerous, you'd want to vent that outside. You don't want to just use a small air purifier to thinking that'll be fine. But for uh, soldering jobs, if you have it with an enclosure, it, would, it seems to work okay. Um, if you set up the wand, let it come straight down to the nozzle. If you can get it close enough while the head's moving and it doesn't bump it, it will work, but it will not grab 100% of the smoke. And uh, 
one thing you always want to do that's a must you must always wear your safety glasses if you have an enclosure on and you're not looking at the beam you're fine to not have them on but safety first it's always best to wear them on if you can see the laser beam or anybody walking in the room or your animals or anything can see the beam it can damage your eyes and cause you to go blind over time cause serious problems so always wear your safety glasses don't assume oh it's okay um, like I've seen a lot of people do, they just don't wear them or they're off camera, you can't see them. Always wear your safety glasses. So, yeah, but a pretty cool to get it. So, I'll have to check into where I can get possible replacement filters. I'm not sure if they have them with Comgur or on Amazon, or if I have to buy something larger and cut it down, but, um, yeah, seems to work pretty good, so I'm pretty pleased with it. Please like, subscribe, and share everyone, and until next time, happy laser engraving.